Well, welcome inside my studio. It's uh, a dreary day outside. Just not going to get a lot done, probably. So, uh, just brought you in here to where I edit the videos, I produce some music, things like that. You've been in here before. I just want to talk to you a minute about being thankful. Um, even though things may not be as we want them to be, I make no apologies for the fact that I'm a Christian. And for that reason, I believe there are things that should and should not be practiced by uh, believers. So I'm a little heartbroken about what's going on in our country and some of the things that have evolved, uh, not just lately, but over the last few years and just seems so quickly how things seem to be going down the tubes. So it's a little disheartening. However, we still have so much to be thankful for. We live in a country that most of the world would love to live in and a lot of the world is trying to come here. Many of them are actually dying to get here and to, to realize and to benefit from the, the blessings we have in this country, the, the options and the opportunities that we have. Um, everyone, doesn't matter who you are, what color, what religion, whatever you are, we all have the same opportunities um, to, to build something for ourselves, to be something in this country. And there are very few countries, in fact, this country may have pretty much started the whole thing. Before America was founded, you had to be a lord or a lady or a, someone rich and established and uh, a friend of the king or a knight or someone noble to really own land, to do anything. And that was the big draw of coming to America was it's, it's land just there for the taking. And these, the people that came here, especially the early ones, the pilgrims, came here for religious freedom. They were tired of the, the tyranny of a king that said how they could and could not worship. They were tired of the fact that they couldn't, no matter how hard they worked, they couldn't own anything. They couldn't really own land. They couldn't own their house. They were, everybody was pretty much renters. And in some countries, that's the way it still is. Uh, the king and the lords and the, the dukes and the duchesses own everything. And you just rent or lease your property from them. You may be a farmer. You may do whatever you want to do. You're still renting or leasing that land from someone who is a noble or someone who is royalty. So we are so blessed here to be able to own property uh, now our blessings may be short lived. We, we, it may be all coming to an end. I see things just the old expression going to hell in a handbasket. And it just seems so quickly that things are changing. That's, that's the thing I marvel at. Not that it, uh, that sin is, is rampant and that, uh, that opinions are changing and, uh, things that have been carved in stone for 6,000 years uh, are being negated. But it's just the speed at which it's happening just uh, makes me kind of wonder if we're not getting close to the end of days. Uh, you may believe that too. You may welcome that. Um, you may say, you know, the old expression, amen or oh me. Which one is it? Things are turning, in my opinion, for the worse. However, we still should be thankful for the things we have, for the blessings we experience in this country. Most of us have full bellies. Most of us have a car to drive, a house to live in. Most of us have a roof over our heads and we're warm when it's cold outside and we're cool when it's warm outside. Uh, we're just truly, truly blessed. And again, that's why so many people are literally dying to get here. So. No matter how you feel about our country and how you feel about thing, how things are going, uh, count your blessings. Realize just how blessed we are. It may not last forever. Countries, as general rule, history shows that countries don't last forever. Governments don't last forever. So keep that in mind. Uh, I welcome your comments. Um, I don't try to get real political on this channel. I am very opinionated, but I don't share those opinions very often on this channel. But I welcome you to do that in your comments, in whatever you 
would like to say. The comments will be open as long as you don't uh, get in an argument with somebody and start getting rude or ugly or calling names and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to have that, but, uh, let me know what you're thankful for. Let me know what you think the state of our country is, how well things are going or how bad things are going. And, uh, but this Thanksgiving kick back and just be thankful for what we have. Uh, we are a small percentage of this world. Even if we live humbly in this country, we're still among the world's elites. We're blessed. Hope you see that. I hope you're not too despondent about, not about elections, but just about the way things are going. Um, I hope you're encouraged to just trust God that he knows what he's doing. I know that he is in control. I don't know sometimes what he's doing, but I know he's in control. And uh, I hope you will understand that too and uh, just give him an opportunity to, to manipulate your life in a way that will benefit you and glorify him. That's what, uh, that's what we should be thankful for. Our country, our families, our God, not necessarily in that order, God first, the fact that he loves us and he cares for us and he's done everything he can do to see to it that we live with him forever. He sent his son. It's up to us to accept that and to appropriate the, uh, the salvation that's available to us if we will accept it. I hope you have a blessed Thanksgiving. I hope your life is blessed. Again, let me know what's going on in your life. If the comments are very numerous, I may not be able to answer everyone, but I promise you I will read everyone. And uh, just let me know what's going on in your life. And I appreciate you folks. I say it all the time. I appreciate you more than you ever know, but I do. I never thought that I would have a, a, a vehicle in which I'm able to reach out to the world and, uh, and have people watch my videos and people share with me and, and ask me questions. And I'm, I'm privileged to answer your questions. Uh, and I just, man, I am just, I feel so blessed. So share with me what you're thankful for this Thanksgiving season. And I just pray that you are blessed beyond measure and that you realize it. All right, we're gone.